Hey, what's up guys? Tim here. So for today's tutorial, we're learning how to tie the Emperor Snake Knot Paracord Bracelet. And that is this pattern here. I'll give you guys a quick close-up view of it. So this is just a modified snake knot in some ways. This original design comes to you through uh, JD Lenzen of tying it all together. I learned his technique and in his original tutorial he made a key fob out of it. So I just slightly modified it to uh, be used as a bracelet, okay? So it's not too hard. Uh, it does take a little bit more time, maybe a little bit more paracord than uh, the other weaves, but uh, I think it's really nice looking. So we are doing the knot and loop method, but in this lesson I'm also incorporating how to tie this bracelet with the uh, buckles. Okay, so this is just the demo piece, that's why it's a lot, it's a lot shorter. But anyways, we're going to learn how to do both the uh, buckles and the knot and loop for this uh, tutorial. So I think some of you guys will appreciate that. Okay, so that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so I got my paracord ready. I'm gonna start off by showing you how to start this bracelet for the knot and loop method. And then I'll uh, switch over to the buckles, all right? So I got five and a half feet of each color. I'm using the rust and imperial red. Uh, I've got quite a bit extra because I wasn't fully sure how much this one would take, but uh, five and a half feet is what I'm starting with, okay? An overall bracelet should be about eight and a half inches. Okay, so the way we start off the knot and loop is very simple. We're just going to tie a single snake knot. Okay, so the way we do that is uh, we take, this was a little awkward working with longer strands, but uh, we take our one side, it doesn't matter which side you start with. I'm using the red, I'm gonna do a loop around the rust side like this. Okay, and then we're going to take our rust strand, we're going to go behind here, behind the red here, and then we're going to take the other end, take the other end, and feed it through that loop we just created on the other side. Okay, I'm going to pull that all the way through. So now we're forming our first snake knot. Now the key here is you're going to hide the uh, the melted end, the melted seam here. Okay, so I'm going to slowly pull this shut. Now you see how I'm slowly inching that melted end into the middle of the knot? Like that. Okay. So you're just going to have to kind of play with it, but see? Now I've got it somewhat hidden in there and I've got my half inch loop. Okay, so that is how we start off this bracelet. Now we're going to show you how to start this on buckles, and then we'll cut back to the uh, to this continued method here. Okay, so for the buckles, you're going to need your uh, buckle. I'm using the uh, smaller, I be believe these are uh, half-inch width buckles. And I've got my paracord. I'm just using single color here, but it's the same method. Uh, just the way you start is a little different. So. Yeah, all we're going to do is uh, feed our paracord through the buckle. So I like to use this little uh, piece of inner strand just to, to make things easier. So I'm going to loop it on like this. So now you want to feed it through the top of your buckle. So you know how all buckles are curved. You want to feed it through the top end. doesn't matter if it's a male or female end. And in terms of length for the buckles method, it's going to be about the same. It's just that at the end of the knot and loop you'll need a bit of extra paracord to uh, tie your knot in loop, of course. Okay, so I'm going to pull this through like that. And then I'm going to do the cow's hitch. Pull everything through. Got a little bit of fraying there, but we can always melt that off later. Okay, so we're just going to do the cow's hitch like this. And then, uh, yeah, basically this is from where you would start the um, emperor snake knot. And you'll see that in the next cut. All right, so now getting to the main part of the weave, this Emperor Snake Knot is essentially the same as a, the Snake Knot the way you started out. There's just an extra step at the end. Okay, so again, we're gonna do our uh, loop around one side. We're gonna take the other end, the other cord, feed that through here. I'm just going to push everything through. I'm not gonna find the end. So pull that all the way through like this. Okay, so we're at this exact same spot again. Now instead of cinching it shut, what we're going to do is this uh, rust side, 
it's going to do a counterclockwise loop behind and then through this loop here okay so up and around and then the uh, imperial red side is going to do the same thing but it's going to be a clockwise loop so this is this strand is going to go around and up and through this loop and go in front of the strand okay so I'll show you on this side here I'm going to have to find my end okay so this side is going to go through here like that Pull it all the way through. Like this. Okay, no need to pull it all the way tight yet. Then now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, I'm going to find my end of paracord here. So just bear with me. Okay, got my end here. So this this strand is this strand, the end of this strand, and we're just going to bring it back through the loop here. Okay, like that. So, this is where you should be now. I know it looks a little confusing. Okay, now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna look for these two strands here. You're just gonna cinch it shut. Okay, yeah. So, if you look at, I'm pinching the bottoms of the loops here. I'm just going to pull, ever so carefully pull that shut like this. So you're you're really just cinching the snake knot shut. See, it looks the same up there. So when you pull that tight, now you can grab both of these, or it doesn't matter if you do one at a time, but you can grab both of these strands that are coming down, and you pull those through the snake knot like that, and then just pull it tight after. Okay. So there you go, that's the first Emperor Snake Knot. And that's basically it. You're just gonna do the same thing over and over again, okay? So now if you're doing this on the buckles, I'm gonna show you on my demo piece over here. Same thing. Now you don't, because you've already locked um, the strands down, you don't have to do that um, initial plain snake knot. I'm just going to really quickly do it again for you guys here, if you're doing this on buckles. So single snake knot. And uh, I got our two loops. Then on the right side, counterclockwise through, like that. Then on the left side, clockwise through, like that. And these strands I'm working with here are a bit shorter, so it's not as awkward. And then we're gonna look for the, the two bottoms of our loop. I'm gonna pull that shut, like this. Okay. Pull that as tight as you can, and then we're going to pull the bottom strands through there, like that. And you can always give it another good extra tug. Okay, so that's it, basically, for the main weave. I've tied a single one here, and then for my buckles, and then for my knot and loop, oops, sorry, my knot and loop, I've got here. So you can see how they've started. Okay, so from here, you're just going to continue, actually this is the front, you're just going to continue weaving down, whether you're doing a knot and loop or buckle, and then I'll show you guys how to finish it off, okay? Alright, so I'm done weaving. Our Emperor Snake Knot is uh, nicely tied here. There's a loop to end up there, so obviously it's pretty clear what we're going to do here. We've got two strands, there's no uh, you know, need to especially finish it off. You just uh, stop where you are, and then we're going to tie our two-strand diamond knot, okay? So um, yeah, I'm just going to go through that really quickly, and of course if you guys aren't familiar with this knot, you can check out my dedicated tutorial on the knot. I uh, don't think it's necessary that I go through this in detail every time. Okay, so got that there, loop over the top, over, under, over, like that. Got our Carex bend, and then bring that strand Pass this one through the middle. Oops, lost it there for a sec. Okay, and then bring the red strand past this one here through the middle. And of course, I will annotate the detailed tutorial of the stopper knot if you guys aren't familiar with it already. Okay, so got our knot forming up. I'm going to tighten this knot up and move it, shift it down here. 
Okay, and then we'll be finished the knot and loop closure. All right, so now for the buckle closure. I've got my bar tied up nicely here. And this piece is really short just because it's just for a demo. I wasn't planning on wearing it or anything. Anyways, we're gonna take off our other end. We're working with the male end this time. And you've got your two strands at the end here. Again, uh, no special way to finish it off. Just stop where you are. Now I was gonna think of some, you know, maybe fancy, nice way to link the buckle to it, but I figured just keep it simple. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at for the top of the buckle. So the top is always the uh, curved part, like the top of the curved part. You gotta make sure you uh, match that up properly. And I've uh, singed or slightly, you know, toasted the ends of my paracord, and I uh, took some pliers and squeezed them flat. So they'll feed through the buckle nice and easily. You're going to take these two strands and you're going to put them through the top of the buckle. Just like that. I'm going to move it down to here. And now, what we're going to do, the only tool we'll need is our hemostats. You can use needle nose pliers if you have those. We're going to look at our last stitch here. See this uh, loop right here? We're going to take our hemostats underneath and pull these two strands through. Okay, so it should be relatively easy because this knot isn't, uh, or this weave isn't super tight. So we're just going to take our hemostats through there. I'm going to grab one strand. I'm going to work it through like that. Okay. Then the next one, take the second strand, pinch the edge there, pull it through like that. Okay. So, that's about it. That's how you attach the buckle on the other side. Now, of course, at this point, you're just going to take some scissors um, or your knife or whatever and snap, uh, snip off the excess and then melt the ends there. Okay, and make sure you leave just a little bit excess. You don't want it super, you know, short all the way. So just that it can turn a little bit when you buckle, okay? And of course, with the knot and loop, I've already adjusted my not to where I need it to be. And I'm going to uh, snip off the excess and then we'll be done both our bracelets. All right, and there we have it guys, we are done. So I've snipped and singed off the excess of my stopper knot. Okay, that's ready to go. And of course for my demo uh, with the buckles, that is done as well. I've tucked under the two strands under the first knot and I just realized if you want to make this super secure, you can put it under the first and second knots if you're you know, paranoid about it coming off. But I think under normal use, this is just fine. Okay? So, that's about it. I know this tutorial is maybe a tad longer just because I went through both methods. But I'm sure you guys will appreciate that. I know some of you like the buckles, some of you like knot and loop. So, I'm um, just doing my best to keep everyone happy out there. So, I hope I've explained everything clearly and concisely. Again, if you guys have any issues, feel free to leave me a comment down below. Be more than happy to help you out. And uh, I think that's about it, about it guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more paracord tutorial videos. If you haven't already, please do like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.